all right so guys a new week means a new video i'm the mdc in mdc rx and today i'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to manage mild insomnia so this video is going to be similar to the stress management video i did a couple videos back just because those tips also help you help you to calm down so we're just gonna follow that format where we go from our head to our feet but what is insomnia a basic definition of insomnia is just issues or having difficulty falling or staying asleep throughout the night. So now that we know what insomnia is, now we're going to move into the tips. So starting with your head, what we want to do is we want to practice mindful meditation. Mindful meditation basically is just the practice of mindfulness. It involves you being aware of the current situation you're in. So in this situation, you realize that okay, I'm in bed, now it's time to sleep. You know, you try to practice imagery, you know, just get your mind to a place where it's aware that you are preparing to sleep now. So, you know, calm yourself down, try to not think of any thoughts that might stir you up or get you agitated, or thoughts that might keep you twisting and turning before falling asleep. So now we're going to move on to our eyes. We want to avoid visual stimulation. Visual stimulation would include bright lights such as your phone screen, you know, watching videos, just visually stimulating videos so you know high action videos or just bright lights in general so we want to avoid having the phone screen on the laptop screen on the TV screen on and things like that bright lights can cause your body to go into an active state in you know, a kind of a fight or flight response so it would prevent you from falling asleep so now we're gonna move on to our ears we want to avoid high energy or stimulating audio or sound High energy sounds or loud sounds can put your body in a fight or a flight response just like bright light. So again, preventing you from falling asleep. Instead, what we could do is listen to calming music or white noises such as the sounds of waves, waterfalls, or things like that. I personally listen to uh, rain falling whenever I'm falling asleep when I'm trying to fall asleep. So I'll just go on YouTube and type up rainstorm or something like that and just play it until I fall asleep. So now we're moving on to our mouths. What we want to do is practice rhythmic phrases. So popular rhythmic phrases would include counting backwards from say either a hundred or ten, something like that, or you know saying A B C, something calming that can get your body in a state of all right. I'm relaxed. I'm focused on this one task. Let me just you know try and fall asleep. So now we're moving on to our lungs, breathing. We want to make sure our breathing is slow, calm, and collected, just so that we can get our body in a calm, relaxed state for sleep. Now moving on to our stomach, which is personally my favorite one. <laughs> we want to avoid eating foods or drinking drinks that will stimulate you, like coffee for instance. You don't want to be drinking that especially too late if you have issues falling asleep at night because it will keep you up. Rather, you can eat some foods or drink some drinks that will calm you down or, you know, put you in a sedative state such as chamomile tea. Chamomile tea is actually a good way to just calm down your body and to get you sleepy and also warm milk. You know you heard it a lot but it's actually true. Warm milk does help you get a bit more sleepy. So now we're moving on to our, le our legs. Exercise. But watch the time that you exercise. Now exercise is definitely important and it does help you fall asleep. However, it can be good or bad depending on the time that you do it. Now, it is said that if you exercise less than 6 hours to your sleeping time, it can actually stimulate your body and get it in a working mood so you'd fall asleep less easier. However, if you do high energy exercise greater than 6 hours to your bedtime, by the time your bedtime actually comes, it can get you in a state that you're, you know, ooh, you're tired, your body is ready for that rest now, and you finally can fall asleep much easier. If you feel though that your insomnia issues might be due to something severe like maybe night terrors or so on, it's best for you to contact your physician because that would need a higher grade than just these little tips. Alright so guys, this has been my video on managing mild insomnia. I hope the tips work for you, they work for me whenever I try them. And just thank you for coming and I'll see you next week.